this module actually the elongation of the previous module when we are talking about uh, the radial flow impellers. So, as I have already told you that the radial impellers are mostly used when we have to create high shear effect. You can see in this uh, uh, slide and diagram that when there is a radial flow and this is you say Rushton turbine impellers this is you can say that the blade. So, when there is a, a cells either the bubbles. So, when these cells collide with this impeller then they rupture. So, in case when there is a radial flow impellers then there the burst of the cells happen, but on case of when it collide with the air bubbles that having the reduction of the air bubble size that is the positive point in radial impellers. But sometimes when we need the shear effect toward the cells, but sometimes it goes negative when we talk about that there is a continuous shear to the cells there is no because there is no mass culturing and all the time when there is a disruption of the cells then there is the increase of the toxicity inside the fermenter. So, that is why sometimes that that is very negative uh, 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 impact of uh, the choice of uh, radial impellers. So, that is why we see that uh, as concerned of the high shear that is effective in breaking of the bubbles for this reason the radial flow impellers are used for the culture of highly aerobic fermentation process. Because when there is a need of the high uh, aer highly aerobic process mean the metabolic requirement of the organism need high oxygen high concentration of the oxygen that can only be supplied when there is a more solubility of the oxygen inside the fermentation medium or among the medium of that. Because when we have to supply the air into the medium, so the gaseous phase first go have to into the liquid phase. So, first the gas oxygen has to dissolve into the medium. So, the number of factors effect on the solubility of the medium. We will talk about this particular uh, mechanism of solubility while we will talking about the chapter of aeration and agitation and the requirement of the oxygen. So, the how much how much amount of the oxygen is required that as we know that the metabolic uh, equation that uh, one mole of glucose requires 6 mole of oxygen to have a complete uh, respiration. So, as when we use the simple uh, the common air and we know that if the air is having a good quality that mostly have 21 percent of the oxygen in the air. So, when we supply the air that air bubble size as much as the size of the bubble will re reduce then there will be a more surface area. When there will be a more surface area then there is a more chance of oxygen solubility in the medium. So, that is a very positive that is why the positive factor by selecting the radial flow impellers. But on the other hand I have already told you that high shear can also damage the shear sensitive material such as the crystals and the precipitate and shear sensitive cells such as filamentous fungi and animal cells. So, very critical by using the radium impellers. <clears throat> when we talk about the radium impellers, so that is effect that uh, how you design and what is the shape of the blade of the fermenter. 